Tim, a big three points under the Hive London lights. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, listen, it's a massive, massive relief. Um, I think for everybody at the club, certainly for me. Um, you know, it's not lost on me at coming out and speaking to you guys after every game and, you know, it's, it's the same old story. Um, I think we've touched on in the last couple of games prior to this that there have been signs of improvement, certainly organisationally, fitness. Um, I think we've looked a more cohesive team. We've looked harder to beat, although, you know, not knocking any lights out, let's be fair. But um, <clears throat> today was our most complete performance, probably. Um, you know, against a very good Halifax side who are, you know, looking around the playoff area. I thought we were very competitive. I thought we, you know, we set about our business, played National League football. <clears throat> you know, we, we got, on, got on first contacts, got on second balls, played territory, played in behind, looked to turn people, played football, tried to play football when it was on. You know, I, I don't, I never tried to tell anyone, you know, not to use their ability levels, but, you know, you've got to do it at the right time and in the right places on the pitch. Um, you know, listen, the first goal was a little bit opportunist for us. It, it looked like it took a bit of a bobble or whatever. The second one's a worldy. I mean, he's got a wand of a left foot anyway, um, Woody has, but it's a wonderful strike, wonder goal. And then we, you know, you, you look at it and you think, well, let's just get through to half time and we go and shoot ourselves in the foot right on half time, which is criminal, really. But it, I, I sort of said to him, listen, we're all talk about a negative when really, you know, during the first half, there's a lot of positives to come out of it. But what are we going to do? We're going to, you know, oh, we're in front. We're going to melt. We're going to shy away and bottle it. Mm. Or are we going to are we going to play like we did in the first half? Try and take it to people, defend properly, tuck it in wide areas, make it compact, make it horrible for people to play against us. And listen, that, that's this division, you know, and it, it, it isn't. If you've got a £1.7 million pound budget, then good luck to you. You can, you can put people on, you know, thousands of pounds a week. We, you know, we have to cut our cost accordingly right now, and that's what we're doing. And we have to be organised and fit. And I think the boys have been training really hard, so they deserve their, um, they deserve their uh, enjoyment and, and victory tonight. Looking at the first half, you must have been, there must have been a bit of worry when, when it goes to 2-1, but the game management in the second half I thought was immense yeah. from yeah. the boys. Scott Loach hasn't really made a stop from my recollection. No, not, in the, not in the second half, no. And it's, um, you know, listen, that, that's be a professional footballer. If you're going to call yourself a professional footballer, then play, play the game properly. You know, so what, what are you going to do? You're 2-1 up. Listen, take what's on offer, but make sure there's no gaps. Make sure your distances are right. Make sure you're nice and compact out of possession. Make sure you work hard to get back behind the ball when you're playing up front and not walking back in, which, you know, obviously I've watched all the tapes back. And there's too many people been walking around here for a long period of time. You can't play walking football. You're wasting your time because you'll end up you'll end up out of divisions. You've got to run and run hard and run 12, over 12k a game. That's what you've got to do. Um, but... Yeah, I thought we managed the game latterly really well. You know, we played it in good areas and kept it in good areas and done what other people have been doing to us lately, you know, wound the clock down. And, and listen, it's horrible. I've been stand, I've stood there many times when people are doing it to you. And, it, it, you know, it's horrible. But you, you've got to do that and you've got to be professional. And um, I thought we were professional tonight. I thought the two centre halves were immense for the second half. I thought Liam and Ben headed absolutely everything out of our 18 yard box. Um, so, listen, it, it's it's been a a good night for us it's been a long long time coming I'm delighted for the supporters I really am um, because listen I, I, I ain't used to, to losing in, in this division you know I, my record was was fantastic at, uh, at Sol Hill and I come here to try and make a difference now it's taken a long period of time and it's still May yet um, because there were certain things that needed to be put into place in all fairness and we've slowly but surely tried to chip and chip away and I know listen I know results are, are, are a key element but hopefully if we can keep grinding away and, and implementing the right structure and, and, and the right mentality in, in the group and maybe add to the group and I keep saying that add, add some quality to the group then then maybe we can start making our way up the division. I just wanted to touch on Miles Judd's performance because he's yeah. come in for criticism recently and it was a couple of his recent performances I thought he was really good this evening he does not shirk out of a challenge and I, I thought positionally it seemed to be a very mature performance yeah him. listen Judd is a young lad he's a young lad who played 
a lot of games in, in the title winning team of Lake Norrie when they won this division. Juddy played a big part in that. Now, he found himself out of the side there. They've gone another way and picked another player. And, and he hadn't played any football. Uh, and obviously we remember him from <clears throat> that season because we finished second. And um, he, he's, a, he's a little terrier. He's a Rottweiler. He likes, he loves a tackle. You know, he, he's a good kid. He's a chirpy type of character and, and, and we really like him but it takes time you know normally if you if you do a, a proper pre-season players need four five sometimes half a dozen games before they feel that they're match they're into their match hardened their match legs if you like and Julian had any you know so we, we're basically the lone players that we've been bringing in and, and played football because you're either bringing in lads who can't get in teams or lads who are unattached and <laughs> you know it tells its own story so you've got to try and get them up to speed it's all right, you can train as hard as you want and you can run around as hard as you want, but when you go out there and it's competitive, all of a sudden after 20 minutes, your lungs are like space hoppers. So, listen, it is what it is. It, Judy's, Judy's done all right. I don't know who's, don't listen, I don't know who's been criticising him. I haven't. Um, I like him. He's a good kid. He's an honest kid. He wants to be here. You know, he's, he rolls his sleeves up. He knows we're bottom of the league. He's up for the scrap. So, you know, I want lads who are, who are going to put, put their heart and soul into this football club. Um, so, you know, listen, he, he played well tonight. The back four played well. Jerome played well. In fact, listen, let's be honest. There weren't anyone out there that didn't really play well. Mm. You know, Petrasso gets his goal. That's three, you know, since he came back into the side from injury. Um, Hooper worked his socks off. JJ did. You know, the, um, Mo Farr, the boys that came on, worked hard and, and, and made a difference. So I, I'm really pleased for them because it's not easy. I'm telling you now, it is not easy to, to motivate and pick a group up, you know. And, and I think as a staff, we've done that. I think we've done that and we've kept their heads up and we've tried to show them the bigger picture and what we're aiming to do and, and keep believing. Um, so, listen, we move on now. Uh, I'm, I'm really pleased for them so they can get in a car and go home and, and, and tell the old woman that they've won and, and you know, they might, they might get a, a pizza for their tea or something. But the bottom line is we've now got an incredibly tough game at home against Woking. We smashed us at their place, um, as I remember, when they were down to 10 men. and. You know, we've got to, what we've got to do is recover properly and 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 prepare properly, and do our do our homework and and go and go and work really hard and see if we can go back to back, because if we can, then that makes a huge huge difference to the league table because all of a sudden everyone that's been looking at us and thinking we're dead men walking might change their mind. Let's finish on the on the supporters. You touched on it yeah. earlier. <clears throat> They've had to be patient, and it's been a real difficult period to go so long without it yeah. without a victory. So, how much is that for them tonight? It's for them. It is for them, and I think I think the players would would sort of reiterate that as well. I, I think if you interview a player tonight, it is for them. Listen, it would have been brilliant for them to clap them off tonight because they gave everything for the shirt. Um, I ain't come here to lose. I promise you that. I have not come here to lose and I'm not come here to be down with the dead men. This football club, when you look at it, is a is, is a you know, far better, far better football club than what we're showing right now. Um, and I want to come and make a difference. I want the fans to be proud of this football club again and proud of their team and enjoy their team, enjoy watching their team scrap for their club. So, listen, it's not for the want to try and I promise you that. Um, you know, I've worked and as a staff we've worked tirelessly to try and turn this and it's been a runaway tanker believe me from minute one when we walked in this has been a runaway tanker and the signs showing a little bit that it's slowing down and if we can get it turned around and go the other way and some of that's confidence you know with a group that have been getting punched in the face without being able to land one themselves for a long long time um, so we need to we need to enjoy this but not for very long um, on Thursday morning we're back to basics and back to playing uh, nuts and bolts National League football you know